ever since their big run last year, which featured some finals against world-class teams, Cloud9 have had a steady decline, unable to reach their former glory, going through different lineups and structural changes. Still, the future is uncertain as to how the team will do, but it does appear apparent that the addition of Slemmy has had a positive effect on the team and that he's taken away that in-game leader role from nothing, allowing nothing to do better in his job. And their performances in E-League and in the online portion of ECS have been encouraging. Shroud. Shroud has some of the best mechanics ever and this is abundantly clear when you watch him play. This makes him very deadly and his performances are also crucially important as one of the two main star players of the team. Skadoodle. Last year, Skadoodle was a top 3 AWP player. During Cloud9's good run, he had some prolific performances. However, since then he's been quite quiet, and many fans await his resurgence to that top form of flicks galore. Nothing. Nothing is a very old school player, very experienced, and he brings sublime rifling to the team and is another star performer for Cloud9. The only issue is delivering the consistency that really does that title of star player proud. Slemmy. Slemmy picked up the in-game leader Baton for Cloud9 recently, relieving the previous caller nothing so that he could focus on his game, which seems to be suiting Cloud9 quite well and Slemmy does offer some good fragging performances as well and the improvement overall has been apparent. Stewie2k Stewie2k is known for crazy and unpredictable plays. And this comfort in chaos and anarchy makes him a great addition as an entry fragger for Cloud9. Performances really have been quite patchy, and this really is the main issue for Cloud9. The addition of a coach could be very, very useful if they're able to iron out their tactical game and apply more discipline and facilitate their star players a little bit more. There really is a lot of potential for a vastly improved performance and the consistency as they aren't really without talent. Cloud9 did excellently in the league, going 8-1 to one and getting the place directly at the ECS Finals, which from a seeding perspective will help them quite a lot. One thing to bear in mind, however, is unlike Luminosity, they still do need to show that they can get those types of performances against a European field on LAN. And the ECS Finals is an excellent opportunity for them to do just that. Nothing is the player to watch. The most experienced player on the team against the Europeans, a huge personality, his performance is needed the most. If he can get his game going, it's very impressive to watch and it's really needed as well to allow his teammates to get going, especially as he is also a big part of the morale on the, on the team. Cloud9 have a lot of opponents to be wary of. This tournament is stacked and their map pool is going to be an issue against many of those teams. Their recent performance against Luminosity at Ely will give them a lot of confidence, but they are definitely the underdogs along with TSM at this tournament.